Okay, welcome to the Beginner's OS Tablet Guide. So I'm going to go over everything I can for drivers really quickly and how to set it up. Um, this may help some people that are um, new and old. But first and foremost, there are three things you can do. First of which is use your manufacturer driver, manufacturer's drivers. I don't recommend that. I completely will skip any type of doing that in this video because I, I absolutely despise it. The second one is using a community driver. Um, I prefer using that if you want to change your play area. And then the third one is using OS to actually change your sensitivity scaling, which is also a pretty good way of doing things. Uh, so pretty much what you want to, is to decide whether if you want to be able to change your play area exactly or if you want to play full area uh, or if you want to um, change it using the OS sensitivity scalings. That's something you're going to have to decide before going into this. So if you want to do tablet drivers, um, I'll go ahead and show you how to get the better ones. The reason we don't use the manufactured ones is because they add input latency with smoothing. Basically, the cursor naturally has noise, which makes it vibrate. It's how they're manufactured. And what this does is it causes your it causes your smoothing to constantly correct where the cursor is to make the cursor appear straight. It also tries to correct its position and predict it. So it's not exactly an accurate place of where you're aiming on the tablet. It's kind of shifted, which is why you can uh, why you can sometimes randomly mess with it. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the drivers. So come to the GitHub link linked in the description below and uh, you'll see a spooky page with a fake download button. It's not really fake. That's just for the uh, if you want to look and see how it's made. Anyway, the download link is right here. Uh, make sure you have the supported OS, although 32 bits should work. It shouldn't make a difference. Um, make sure you have a tablet support on here. I have no experience using a tablet that is not on this list for this driver. And OK, so once you download that, you will have a folder right here um let me just make this clear if you have the old manufacturer drivers and you want to switch to this one you have to completely remove every trace of your manufacturer's drivers before you can do this so go into control panel or remove them and that will get you taken care of reboot your pc and come here run the remove the multi driver after you do that run the install one i'm going to go through this quickly because it doesn't need to drag on the uh the top panel here is your screen map this is basically which monitor you use you'll probably only see one if you use one monitor if you use multiple you can set the area here or click it you're also going to have to put in your width and your height that's your resolution very simple if i have to explain that i don't know how you have a pc anyway the next one is right here is your tablet area so make sure you have this select to absolutes this is where you can change it i'm going to go ahead and click full area for a second here and then click for full area that's the default full area. That's probably what you'll see. I'm going to untick that and I'll explain force, a force aspect in a second. You can use your old Wacom area here or load it. So you have to use these numbers, which is really inconvenient to change your tablet area. Now I'm just entering random numbers. You can also click and drag this around. I forgot to mention that. But again, I was talking about aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is obviously your screen resolution's aspect ratio. 1080p is 16 by 9 or this 1.778 to 1. That's they're the same thing. Um, you want to try to have your tablet area the same as your monitor resolution. The reason is, is because if you have a 4 by 3 ratio, for example, on a 16 by 9 game resolution, you have displacement. It's where the resolutions don't match of it and it has to stretch it so it's not exactly accurate i don't like to use that that's why i use force aspect but it's personal preference some people like it some people don't um if you want to play full area using this really good driver and use the o sensitivity scaling to change your area go ahead and leave this to full area and i'll show you in a second how to change it with those okay button mapping simple select this to mouse one disable every other button that's all you need um, you'll be using your pen to scroll. After that, minimize it. I'm going to close it because I'm not going to be using the area and uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the scene to O's. Okay, so now that we are in O's here, um, this is going to be the first thing you want to do with any tablet, whether you have the drivers or not. You want to hit F10 once. You'll see mouse buttons are disabled. Basically, in play, you will have your mouse buttons register, um, which will cause you to fail and... <laughs> It's not fun. It took me so long to figure that out. It's ridiculous. 
Anyway, come to this section right here with the little controller, and this is where every all the magic is. So, leave your sensitivity to one if you have a play area. Otherwise, it's going to mess up your play area, and it's going to half it or make your cursor go to the corner of one of the two. So, again, earlier I said I would to explain it. So, essentially, this number is how much it's going to shrink your play area. At two sensitivity, it basically halves the previous area. And at three, it halves it, so on and so forth. My headset just died, but nice. So, play with this number until you get to your liking. Remember, you can't use that with the tablet area, otherwise it's just gonna mess your tablet area up. Um, so really only use full area and then use that. But you can also use full area on the previous driver and then set this with the sensitivity if you want a better, smoother cursor. So without going into detail, raw input, you should just try it with it or try it without it. Uh, most mouse players will use raw inputs. Um, it's, it doesn't affect tablets that much in my experience, but I still keep it on just for the extra edge. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you in some way. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if I messed anything up, let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.